Home to the world's fastest woman, Olympic sprint star Julian Alfred was greeted with a red carpet-style grand arrival on Tuesday, September 24th. Celebrations commenced with the moment the sprint sensation touched down at Uranora International Airport and continued all the way through to Grozili. Scores of Saint Lucians gathered in their communities, decked out in their national colors, to get a glimpse of Alfred as she paraded through the constituencies. In Castries, one resident waited for over three hours on Jeremy Street. It's an extremely special day. She has made St. Lucians proud. She has now joined the legions of the laureates. Because as you know, St. Lucia is a unique country. And in our uniqueness, we tend to produce unique things. And Julian Alfred is one of the unique products that we have produced. A real product of St. Lucia, in whom we are very proud. And she has taken us to the pinnacle of the Olympics. Individuals were elated to bask in the presence of the track star even if for just a moment. One man hoped that the spirit of patriotism would continue even after the victory tour. As a patriotic St. Lucian, I'm very much overwhelmed with the crowd and her support, which I noticed as she brought this afternoon, man. I words can't express how I felt about seeing so many people out now. But I hope the continuation of the togetherness remains for the next, what I say, a couple of years or thereabouts. I hope we do not go back into the same old nonsense of let's for a couple of days we are together and three weeks thereafter we are more left pulling. Residents also applauded the government for pulling out all the stops to welcome the heroine home. And I want to applaud St. Lucian from coming out on behalf of John Alfred. And also to the Prime Minister with the speech he has given, and to my Minister of Central Castries, I want to tell him thank you for a job well done. Corporate St. Lucia also came out to support the athlete. Alfred not only managed to bag the island's first gold medal in the 100 meters in 10.72 seconds, earning the title the world's fastest woman and clinching St. Lucia's first historic win, but she also secured silver in the 200 meters in the 2024 Paris Olympics. Gina Filippi, HTS News Force.